Hey guys, this is Colin from Mobile Creators, and in today's video we are doing a iMovie tutorial from beginner to pro in the quickest way possible. So let's begin. To start, all you gotta do is click the plus button and click movie, and that'll get us into importing our files, which we're gonna go into videos, recently added, and then we are going to import videos. So in order to import something, all you have to do is click on the video. You can give a little preview by clicking the preview button on the side. And then if you want to go with that clip, all you got to do is click the check mark and it'll be added to the timeline. Let's also add this clip here and let's add this clip here. And that's what I'm going to go with. So all we have to do is in the bottom, click create movie and that'll add all of the videos to the timeline as you can see here. Now we don't want this video to start looking at the cement, so we're probably going to need to trim it. The easiest way I found is just to scroll to the spot where you want to trim, which is about there for me. Click on the video, and then just click the split button, and then click on the other video and click delete. There we go, now we're at the right spot. The other way to trim is if you click on the video, and then you can use your finger on the sides to trim it how you would like it. Now you'll also notice in the settings in the bottom left corner, there's the trim button, which allows us to trim and delete stuff. There's also the speed icon, which allows us to speed up video or slow it down. The sound button, which allows us to turn up the volume or make it quieter if it's too loud. The text button, which allows us to add text. And then there's the color option, where we can add color effects to the video. Let's start with the text effect. And you can actually choose a few different designs for putting text on, or you're just going to go with the basic one. All you got to do is click on the text, and it'll let you edit it. Now, you'll also notice at the bottom that there is a opening, middle, and closing text. This will change the place of where the text is and the effect. Um, the other way to change it is if you go to settings, you can actually change the theme of your video, and this will change the text effect. For example, if we click the news button, this will change it over to a news text type thing opening. And then there's the, if you click the middle, it's more news related and whatnot. So you can change text effects that way. But we're gonna go back to settings and I'm gonna choose modern as my theme. And that's gonna give me this effect uh, for text. And we're gonna go with that. And to exit out of the settings, all you gotta do is click on the preview screen and it'll get you out of the settings. And there we go, we've got our text effect going right there. Next, let's go over to the transition. You'll see there's a transition in between both clips. If you just click on that, you can actually change the transition. Uh, you can have no transition, uh, but we are gonna stick with the dissolve. And you can see in the also bottom left, that you can change how long you want the dissolve to be. Uh, I'd like it two seconds long, so I'm gonna click the two seconds. Now we're gonna click the preview screen to get us out of the settings. And there we go, now we have a two second long transition. Now let's add some color to this. So we're gonna click on the clip will open up the settings. I'll click the color section right here and we can add some different color effects to our video. I actually like the blockbuster effect so I'm going to go with that one and I'm just going to click the preview screen again to get us out of the settings and there we go. Now that uh, color effect is applied to the whole video. Now finally let's go and add some sound effects in. If you click the plus button on the left side you can go down to audio. Now you can add theme music, which is music built right into iMovie. Otherwise you can click sound effects and add different sound effects. For example, you could click bark. Or maybe a booing crowd. There's a bunch of different effects you can go through and add. I'm going to add the cow moo. So we'll add that right in. And you can actually move the cow moo if you want to any spot in the video. We're going to leave it right there. And if you click on the cow moo, uh, you can actually adjust the volume, which I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. And now it's added to the video. Aha. So now let's say I want to remove it. We can just click on the cow moo, go to the scissors, and it allows to delete it. But if we still want it in there, in the right side, you'll see that backwards kind of arrow. It's like a reverse effect. You can click that. Now I brought it right back. Well, now we are set with our video, so I'm just gonna click done, and then I can click the export button down below, and it'll let me choose where I want to export this to. I'm just gonna save the video, and it'll let you choose a file size. You preferably wanna go with HD. It will take longer and more space, but it's gonna look a lot better. 
But that concludes our iMovie tutorial. If you are into mobile filmmaking, be sure to subscribe because I go into the tips, tricks, and tools of how to create awesomeness on your smartphone devices. And be sure to give me a thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.